first one we'll do, I'll say you guess we'll move this way. We'll do uh, that water lizard tape down going from here. So if you get on the clean stuff, you're gonna grab it in here, push and down. That's if you want to stay on them. But of course, you can follow up with different things to the groin. Let me get it from the uh, from this side. Okay. So you can see that hand movement. Or if you don't want to go down, if you don't want to go down with them, you're going to have to use more energy and push through his hip and then get him further away. But personally, I, I want to go down with him so I can take his nuts out. And then, of course, you get opportunities to break that guard, too. Okay. All right. But uh, the water lizard, I really like that because there's so many different ways you can do it. I mean, you can even use it from underhooks. Grab, push off like that. There's all kinds of good stuff from that. Let's see the next one. Uh, dragon. Here. You got them in a do my position here. Pass. Reach up. And grab. So I'm moving over this way. See, I got them like that. I've got all kinds of opportunities where I can grab them both too. So you can give it a shot. So if you got a do my position. Pass. Reach underneath. Yep. See, parking the fight back. And take them out. Or, just like in the form here, you can take them all the way to the ground too. And see, so you can spin them out. Hammer fist, whatever, whatever you want to do. So, that leaves you in the perfect position for the street. You're by the head where no weapons are yeah. at. So, yeah. like, Shinyi, the more I practice Shinyi, the more I realize it's more of a grappling art. Like, Shinyi only has, like, a few strikes, you know. You get those five basic strikes, and it's got a few elbows and knees, but it's mainly a grappling art. When I say grappling, when I say grappling, everybody always thinks of jujitsu. This is a form of grappling. Anytime you just grasp somebody, that's grappling. Let's see, what's the next one? Um, oh, yeah, chicken. From this part here, from in the form. We got again a Dumont position. I turn your wrist outside, sneak this in. I got a shoulder lock right there. How does that feel? Not good. <laughs> okay, so you give it a shot. Sneak it in, turn. Don't feel good. Now some traditional schools definitely should do it this way. Throw in a hook. I grab. I grab it here and I do. Nah. You ain't gonna catch my hook. Like. <laughs> no, gonna, yeah. you, you might catch a, you know, a dude. A sloppy one. Yeah, it's going yeah. like this. But doing it from from a grappling position, whole lot more safer. Okay. Um, one more. This is the most underrated takedown in all of martial arts. Let's say, uh, you, you know, and this is Shinny's mentality: beat them up, throw them down, stomp them out. But here's the most underrated takedown in all of martial arts. Let's say I done knee them in the groin, I done beat them up and hurt them. Here's the takedown I would do. Just push them down. If you just want to get them down, just push them. That's a that's, uh, tiger right there. You, you practice this all day long. If I done beat you up, I'm not going to waste energy just picking you up and slamming you. If I see that you're hurt real bad, I'll just push you to the ground. Okay? So that's it.